and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Elites. That's right, we're playing Lucian Elites on <laughs> on Rank Up Sunday. We're playing some Elites, but I mean, we did real well with it earlier on in the week whenever we played Elites. Um, but yeah, I, I had not, never really had too much success with Battlesmith until we tried this deck earlier. Uh, basically, we're just going to be curving out and trying to, you know, just trying to do that as best we can. Use Concerted Strike and Single Combat for being good removal spells. Ranger's Resolve to protect our elites. And uh, same with Riposte and Back to Back. Of course, we have Battlesmith here, big part of our deck. The, the reason to go elites whenever you summon elite grant a plus one plus one. Um, we don't have, you know, we also have like the Lucian Senna combo. So not every single card is an elite to go with Battlesmith, but a lot of them are, including Silverwing Vanguard. This, th this thing is awesome when you're making two, three, two challengers for four mana. Um, you know, Bannerman also helps with that. Vanguard Bannerman is an elite. So is Garen. Up at the top end, Genevieve Elmhart is a better card than Cythria. But this deck has a, a couple of reasons to play Cythria. Because not only is um, Cythria an elite, but then also we've been seeing just a ton of They Who Endure decks with a bunch of small little blockers, like little spiders and stuff like that. And so having... Cythria the Bold be able to give all of your other units fearsome is a really important way to defeat that deck. So that's why we're playing two Cythrias and two Elm Hearts. All right, so let's go play some Lucian Elites. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. Hopefully get back over to the 3-2 or better. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's try this out. So anybody wearing is anybody wearing headphones today and and if so like while they're watching if so is there any difference between like the left and the right I'm I'm hoping so I'm trying a new thing I've got a new 10 foot cord where my cord is going all the way to the back of the CPU I'm hoping that that is fixing any sound problems that we had before All right Lux plus Thresh Possible that I should be keeping Garen, because Garen is just awesome. Yeah, we'll keep Garen. Garen's just awesome. We have the attack token turn one, so I'm playing this turn one. Sometimes I don't play Cythria turn one when we have Battlesmith, to, to be able to play it after Battlesmith and make it a 3-3. But having the attack token turn one against a deck that probably doesn't do anything turn one or two, because they want to Remembrance on three. We are playing that on turn one, and Take a look at this. looks like we're just going to be curving out. All right. Deader. Soldier to me. Missed a chance to run. Hulk. <clears throat> All right, let's mess some folks up. A symbol worth fighting for. I don't think I'm blocking Grizzled Ranger at all. I'll just take six and go to fourteen. Show them our metal. Huh. This is the more difficult thing of do we block the sergeant and trade when I do have another bannerman. No. So I do have another bannerman. So good chance they pass here and are wanting to play Radiant Guardian after combat. So what do I do against Radiant Guardian? Do I attack and let them play Radiant Guardian? The answer is yes. 
if they want to block Garen and then use removal spell and kill my Garen, we got another one. So that's okay. Slows them down for sure. You know, like they're spending their time doing that. Yes, they have another strike. Basically, do I let that happen? Justice waits for no one. They have another strike or a post or something like that. The good thing about this deck is Bannerman never misses. That's definitely a positive. No, not Lucian last. Because Lucian's going to die to this 5-5 five, five tough. Even, like, Lucian's going to die there. So I want... I want the Senna afterwards, after the Lucian. 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 Lucian's not leveling up here, no matter what I do. So Senna needs to be after Lucian. Justice will be served. That's the worst card in our deck. The third Cythria. At least we can't draw Scythria anymore. At least that's something. Banish the unworthy. I stand ready. Okay, not ruination. Welcome. Good of course, keeping repost to go along with the Garen. Stay resolute. Yeah, this is tough. They probably don't have Ruination, right? Like, they have not been acting like they'd have Ruination at all.
them head on. Go, Garen, go. GG's. Alright, Lucian Elite's 1 and 0. Oh. Justice triumphs! Alright, the Elite's with the win. Is that like our first deck going 1 and 0? Oh? No, no, Garen Chen was 1 and 0 oh also. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Dan? Happy Sunday. Hope everybody else is having a nice Sunday fun day afternoon. Yeah, just good old Demacian Might. Or is that supposed to be Noxian Might? Well, we got Demacian Might. Ooh, Sejuani. Never an easy card to beat. Hopefully, they just do not draw Sejuani. Is that possible? Just don't draw the card Sejuani. Concerted Strike would be good against Sejuani. But maybe I'm supposed to keep it. Demacia stand together. Noxian might. We got a good curve here. I, I love having the Battlesmith to go along with the Silverwing Vanguards. Don't get in my but way. I guess with having Lucian and Senna together, we should just get these two in play. So if one dies, the other does their cool thing. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. And it's. And, Always attack Lucian first with attacking with these. Because on the opponent's side, like let's say they have Elixir of Iron. They want to block, you know, Lucian and use Elixir of Iron to keep their thing alive. You know, or if they kill, whatever they kill, they want to like block Lucian, like Brittle Steel. I guess Brittle Steel is a better example. If they'd have Brittle Steel, they'd want to block Lucian and keep that alive. And so therefore we'd want our Senna to be second so that if they would, um, use Brittle Steel and kill Lucian, then they would take 10 damage from Senna. Alright, so a good chance they have that plus Ravenous Flock. And that will level up If Ravenous Flock is the plan, that will level up Lucian. Doesn't all that armor slow you down? Slow and steady wins the war, Lucian. I didn't play Battlesmith because I wanted to keep single combat available. And now playing Garen is just too good not to play. So now our Senna is already the plus one, plus one double attack, so we can go have Lucian attack last. Okay, I'm going to fight the Kindly Tavern Keeper because I do think they have Ravenous Flock. And so I think that's kind of the plan, is the Ravenous Flock. So keep them from killing Garen. Especially with me having back-to-back -back that can protect Garen a little bit. They are demonstrating Ravenous Flock for sure. Last two turns. Bow to no one. Hmm. Sejuani, why are you so good? If I didn't forge it, you won't want it.
Alright, one strike for Garen. We do what is right. So this would put him down to three. I can you know, go for lethal, of course, with the back to back. No, we'll just have him go to three, because if I go back to back and then they go harsh winds. That's pretty rough for me. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Sturdy blades, custom made. Nothing escapes my watch. To the skies! We'll have the attack token again on their turn. All right, so never allow them to use their Pain ravenous flock. Is nothing. I don't make them for the show. Charge! Go ahead, scare me. Leave no survivors. Brown. Two and zero. I refuse. Justice triumphs. That game we got to do some cool Lucian and Senna stuff. Seven being a, Senna being a three mana five three double attack. Pretty strong. And we're back to two and oh yeah, good strong start. Ooh, same deck. Hopefully no Sedgwani this time. That card's really good. And we draw a Scythria right here to be able to go one, two, three, four, five. This is a good elite curve. Last time we had, you know, the Lucian sent a Lucian. This time we'd have Battlesmith if it stay alive. You know, Sergeant, Bearman, Garen, all those elites. Yeah, Senna doesn't block well. It doesn't stay alive blocking. I mean, it can trade up blocking. And is pretty vulnerable to removal spells, but the finest Yeah, for being a yeah, for being a three mana card, it attacks amazingly well. Four power with quick attack, you just never block it. Soldiers to me. So let's drawing another Lucian. I wish I would have gone Lucian, then Senna, and then, you know, then they kill the Lucian. But that's alright. Leona looks really good. Yeah, like, you know, four mana and, and Daybreak four times to level her up. Like, she could just be leveled up, you know, as soon as you play her. I'm actually... 
actually here? No surprise here. They're just using, yeah, removal spell on Lucian right here. No surprise. Oh, that is true. I am not playing around Avalanche at all, am I? Avalanche would be bad. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. But against Swain, dang. Against Swain, I wanted to go this route. Sejuani. So one card I don't want them to have. Sejuani. That's it. Kind of feel like I need to Bannerman right now because man, Sejuani should be a 5-5. Five, five. It's a 5-6. I'll go Bannerman right now. No, we can just go here. I can make I can turn Garen into 6-6 six, six by going Bannerman next turn. And fight. Yeah, that's my plan for this turn is Sergeant Banner Double Vanguard. Post is interesting. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. He's just got to be worried about. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand. Now, what you gonna have a post also? You got to be worried about Ravnus flock. Warm hearts and hot suits. Really hope no ravenous flock. Darn it. Yeah. Man, that's too bad. Oh, no ravenous flock. I thought for sure that was gonna be a ravenous flock. Only the strong survive. Down Sejuani, keep them from frostbiting everything. Press the advantage. Now we get to press the advantage. For Demacia. Hmm. 
Stand strong. Yep, that's what I'm going with, Lex. I'm going with the. I like your line. That's what I'm going with. Going with four Demacia and then Repost. That's the plan. So I don't want to do two things. If I if I play play like the five four challenger first, and then they play Swain, then I four Demacia, then they do whatever. Like they can like stun a couple of things with having the Swain in play. Definitely do not want them stunning anything. Counter attack. You lack discipline. So I either kill Swain or kill the Leviathan. Which one should we kill? Probably the. Le I mean, I guess maybe the Leviathan because I'm at eight. So that like a couple, because if I kill Swain, then maybe a couple Noxion fervors punk me out. We're going under. What will you have? As long as they don't have Sejuani, I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. Follow my lead. Like how Genevieve Elmhart isn't our largest unit. Alright, GG's. So we leads to 3 and 0. Oh. We did what was right. Thank you, Lex. GG's. We are 3 0 oh with the Garen Chen deck also, and then we had some some poor luck. Things did not line up for us at all in the last two games. Hopefully they continue to line up for us here. <laughs> yeah, we are 8-0 with this deck. Yeah, we played it just the one other time and went 5-0 as well. But we were 8-0 with the Garen Shen deck also, and then lost our last two, so we're 8-2 with that deck. And so now we're 8-0 with this one. Hopefully not lose our last two. Um, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do the deck list thing. Sorry. Um, just a second. I forgot to update the deck list command. Uh, Josu, that's the second one, that, the one that I listed is this, that's the link to this deck. The code, if you want to export it, you know, you said you're on the phone, the, the code to export is... Um, underneath the deck list and you click that export button and then you can copy it over to My... The question is if I'm mulliganing Swiftwing Lancer or not. I think that's the main question and I think I keep it I think we'll just keep this This is definitely this can definitely be a really tough matchup six mana Scythria 
Remember whenever we played this before, Six Mana Cythria was key, because yeah, these hapless aristocrats and everything are just super annoying. What would you mulligan? Would you mulligan the, the Lancer? Anything else besides the Lancer? Push back the dark. See, like, Lancer's great at killing Neverglade Collector and, you know, can kill Callista as well. Perfects. So do I concerted strike and kill Callista right now, or do I bannerman help keep help keep Lucian stay alive? Keep Lucian alive. Awesome, good job, Milan. Got to plat four. Yeah, great job, way to go. So attacking with a leveled up collusion on turn four. I should only be bringing in a 1 1, I think. So it's, yeah, just bringing in a little 1 1 spider. Pretty much dead. It's a really hard combo to beat Callista plus uh, Blighted Caretaker, these two together. Teddy wins the war, Lucian. I pull the strings. Lucian should be attacking here too. The saplings. I should attack with Lucian as well. I don't like attacking with these as much, of like trading with the two-one, because you know they can only go six wide. Uh, but yeah, I, I should be attacking with. Should have attacked with Lucian. Stay resolute. I was I was really just thinking about these of whether these should attack or not, and decided not to, and I just kind of forgot about Lucian. You won't suffer long. Okay. I protect my own. I stand ready. Stand and fight. Yeah, you're all about standing. Justice waits for no one. How does that not work? Because this. Shouldn't this just die to the first strike and then the second strike kill it? 
Meet them head on. Don't duck on my account. How does this not work? So still gotta get rid of this Callista. It's dangerous out there. Take this. <laughs> That's a good Battle Fury emote. I guess I have to use either. Lancer or Elm Hearts to get rid of that thing. Silverwing Vanguard's not going to. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard, I'm Sithri. If they're out there, I'll spot them. We need just a couple more attacks, you know, like basically, basically just, if they don't have They Who Endure this turn, because we get to it, you know, with our, with like playing Elmheart, attacking twice this turn, and then going back to my turn and attacking, I think we could win if they just didn't have They Who Endure this turn. We need to, we need to get one more turn without that card. All right, three and one. And back to Freljord plus Noxus, but not Sejuani Swain. We have Braum Swain. Let's just try a new hand. I didn't really like that one. That was too expensive. Three fives and a three. Starting over. We do not have the attack token on turn one. So should I save a Cythria for three? Or do I play Cythria now? Hello. I want to save Cythria. The finest Demosian steel. I've got just the thing for you. If I would have played turn one Cythria, we would have got two damage in. We'll see if this being a 3 3. This will take the chill off. Ends up helping up more than getting that 2 damage in. Hmm. Huh. So I either have my Battlesmith die or my Scythria and my single combat? I guess it's just Battlesmith. A real battle. I'll play the Silverwing Vanguard first before playing these Bannermans. 
so I can start growing those. I was worried about Braum though. If I like play this, then they play Braum. What? Oh, I guess because they're playing Braum. Huh. My heart and sword for Demosi. I wonder if that's worse than playing Bannerman and having Repost available. Yep. I think we found the answer to that question. Do what is right. And I know that doesn't look like a very good challenge, but they do have the Poro Snack, so they do, get, do have the ability to uh, grow that thing. Second strike. No, never play League of, Le League of Legends. Alright, had a much better hand than the opponent had in that game. And just kind of steamrolled to a nice 4 1. So that evens out our 2 3. Basically had a nice 60% day. Um. Yeah, nice 60% win rate. Yep, went 12 and 8 on the day. But yeah, Lucian Elites. I mean, this this deck's nothing flashy. It's just nice and consistent. And honestly, that's a good way to win games. It's just being nice and consistent and, and curving out, having the, the right spells when you need them. I forgot we were playing Rangers Resolve. We never drew that card in those five games. I forgot about that card. Yeah, it's just nice to have some, some good Demacia stuff. Stand together. Awesome, all right. So that's uh, Lucian Elite. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Um, you know, anything about the deck or just about the new cards, anything like that, I love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Lucian Elite, and I'll see you for the next video.